What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day seven of On Shape. Specifically, what we're looking at is how to do a sketch at an angle, and then also how to do text as well. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our On Shape, and we're gonna start right here from the main menu. So we're gonna create a new document, and we're just gonna call this sketch at an angle and text, because that's what we're focusing on today. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, this nameplate piece is pretty fun to do because it forces you to think about things in more than just a 2D uh, profile and what you can do with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Sketch, click on Right Plane, right Pane, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and make that right uh, plane viewable. Now to do this sketch, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a line that's straight out we make this rectangular shape, go straight up, and then cut back down at an angle, kind of like a nameplate would be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this sketch and then view my front right type, front right top ISO. Let's go ahead and extrude this, but when we extrude this profile, I'm gonna do things in a little bit of a different way. Let's look at some of the features within this panel. And the first one is being, what kind of extrusion do you want? So we've done blind. Blind is just kind of extruding at, at a distance. You set it, it's blind. You may not be able to see it because if you have uh, extrusions running into each other. I'm gonna do symmetric. Uh, the reason being is that just so we can see what symmetric does. And we see that when I pull this out, it symmetrically extrudes both ways. We can symmetric extrude for distance. Now this is gonna to be total distance, not just one way. So if I want it to be five inches across, it's going to go two and a half inches one way, two and a half inches the other. Now let's make this just a little bit longer. Let's do eight and then click okay. All right, so now I've got my base of my nameplate, but I need to throw some text onto it. In order to do that, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my viewing planes, and if I don't need them, I'm gonna make them invisible just that way I don't accidentally click on something. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Sketch, and you notice if I hover over, I can do a sketch on one of these faces right here. So we're gonna do a sketch on here, but we need to view this. You can really try to manipulate the view cube up in the top right to make this work, However, there's a little shortcut. If I hit, if I uh, hover over a face and I right click, what you see it says view normal to. So view normal means view perpendicular to and it puts it straight on. And this allows me to understand what I'm doing a little bit more thoroughly. So now let's go ahead and let's click on text. So on this text, we're gonna draw the approximate size that we want for our letters. And then I'm gonna type in so 100 days of enter of on shape and then click OK. Now what it's going to do is what I did is I drew this line right here and that determines the height of my letters. It doesn't determine the height of your entire text. So you want to draw that line to be the height of what you want your characters to be, not the height of your text box. And then depending upon if everything's okay, this allows you to you can move it around if you want. Let's see if this will let me move this. There we go. Click on it once. That looks okay. Go ahead and click done. Now if you accidentally click on something like I did there and it highlighted the whole plane, you can just click out. Click out and it'll deselect that. But I did have a little bit of an overhang down here. So I am gonna click on my text again. I'll zoom back in, click on my text. Oh, I gotta get back in the sketch. Get back, and let's move this up just a hair. Okay. And that looks good. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish this sketch. What you can do from here on out is you can do a regular extrusion. So we're gonna extrude, and I'm gonna select, you can select an individual uh, letter for that to be. So if you wanna do like an offset, like one goes in, one goes out, or something interesting. Or we can select on 
all of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the edge of that border and it's going to select all of that. So what we can do is we can extrude outwards or we can kind of flip the direction and then we can cut inwards. So let's do a remove. So what remove does is it will t take away that material but that's going all the way through and I don't quite like that so what we're going to do is we're going to make this just a nice thin cut inwards where it's just more of an engrave perpendicular to and there we go. Let's go to my front right type ISO and there we go ladies and gentlemen we did a sketch at an angle learn how to view planes at an angle and then how to do text as well. Again that's right click and if you click on a face right click in a view normal to allows you to view that perpendicularly onwards. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, feel free to uh, tap that in the comments section below. I answer those pretty quickly, as quickly as I can. If you like these videos, feel free to like and subscribe. It definitely helps me know as far as the next direction to go with these on these projects. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.